Hey all, Bill Bachman here with another blog slash lesson video for drumworkout.com and the Vic Firth lesson series. I'm killing multiple birds with one spork. Okay, this one is on playing big and not playing hard. Aha, uh -huh. interesting one, right? So again, get that cerebellum ready because this is definitely a thinking man's kind of thing. So a lot of people, if, they're going, if they want to play really loud and really powerfully, they'll do so by hitting hard. Oh yeah. Right? My body is just, what are you doing to me? Just then, all right? So that was playing hard, right? Now, what I prefer to do is to play big. Right? So. Right? Now I'm barely holding the sticks comparatively, using some molar, some arm backing up thing, you know, second finger fulcrum, everything's way looser. It's more natural and it sounds better, okay? Now, that's often, I'll often find myself saying, play big, don't play hard. So again, just a real simple example. Here's hard, here's big, right? So now you can hear the wood of the sticks resonate. They're just way more musical, musicality -ness. I'm not holding up here. I'm not taking a bunch of shock into my body, potentially injuring myself. All right, so the difference between playing big and playing hard, it's velocity versus inertia, okay? Velocity is the speed, and inertia is more the weight or force behind it. So if somebody hits me with a feather in the chest going 20 miles an hour, I don't even really feel it. But a cannonball to the chest going 20 miles an hour, you know, it's a bad day for me. So it's, you get a way better sound when you use the velocity more than the inertia, okay? So again, it's the speed of stroke, not how hard you hit, right? So play big, not hard, where it just sounds stiff and ugly. Okay, so you'll find that you get a way fuller, more musical, rounder sound by playing that loose, high velocity. And also the injuries are gone because you're no longer taking all that shock into your body because there's not that stiffness. You're not punching the drum. You're not hitting every time and laying into it. You're letting the stick crash into it on its own. Way more nature, less of you potentially screwing things up and adding squareness. John Bonham, drummer for Led Zeppelin. If you don't know him, you gotta look him up. Fantastic. He may be kind of the godfather of the modern rock groove. He played big. He didn't play hard. If you watch him play, there's a lot of arm, a lot of molar whipping motions and rebounding, but he's not laying into them and hitting them hard. Uh, it's been passed on to me, and please chime in if you have this and fact check it, but Jeff Ochiltree, I believe, was his drum tech, and word is, Bonham pretty much never broke anything. And that's good, because he played with a lot of, he played big, not hard, right? So you find that groove and that flow, you get a lot of grease on it if you're loose. More nature, less of you. So as a drum set player, the most important techniques you can focus on to play big and not hard are free strokes and the molar whip and flop. Okay, it's a, a common thing that I experience where I have, for example, a drum set player I was working with in Nashville, he came to me for one lesson because the band he's playing with was now playing these arena shows and he's saying 45 minutes in, I'm cramping and just, I can barely finish it. And so we did one lesson on free stroke stuff. And then he called me a week and a half later, says an hour and a half later, I could have kept on going. It sounded great and felt good just by employing that by playing big, not playing hard. So it's easier on your body and it sounds better. All right, so that's the free stroke. The other one, kind of the most important tools for a drum set player to have is the molar whip and flop. All right, so. Right, you get a lot of that kind of thing going on with your strokes. So that's for any accent pattern is gonna come out of that. So check out drumworkout.com, the Extreme Hands Makeover, where we go super, super in depth, building and rebuilding your hands from scratch with those techniques. Now, for those of you who are more into the marching percussion kind of thing, you want your free strokes and your molar whip and flop, absolutely, or you will be up against a whole lot of brick walls 
and getting the bad rap for playing stiffly because you're forcing your body to do things the hard way. So anyway, food for thought on that. Play big, don't play hard. More musicality, more speed, more endurance, less physical damage to you and your equipment, and you'll be way happier and have more longevity with excellence and sweetness. All right, that's it.